Hello everyone, and this is a pretty tricky question. Uh, because Earth's rotation is gradually slowing, the length of each day increases. Ooh, that's nice. I'd love to have more hours in a day to do these videos. The day at the end of one century is 1.0 milliseconds longer than the day at the start of the century. So in 20 centuries, what is the total of the daily increases in time? The reason why this question is kind of tricky, part of it anyway, is that I feel like some people would have a hard time understanding what exactly the question's asking. I feel like students would read I feel like students could read this and misinterpret the question as more simply asking how much longer will the day at the end of 20 centuries be than the day today. And it's true, finding that out will help us get what the question's really looking for. But what the question actually means by what is the total of the daily increases in time, what it actually means by that is, if we took the number, if we took the additional time we're gaining at the end of each day, and add up that additional time that accumulates over the course of every single day from now until 20 centuries from now, what will the sum of all those little tiny, tiny, tiny additions in time be? And it's true, that sounds like a pretty daunting task. It's not like we're given all the values for all those, for all the days if, from the 20 centuries. And even if we were, it'd be a lot of busy work and take weeks adding them all up. So how would we get that actual value? Well, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to figure out how many... Uh, how much longer the last day of the 20th century is going to be longer than the first day time. So I'm going to use the little conversion factor we're given here. So if that's 20 centuries, is going, and that's going to be uh, multiplied by a rate of, let's see, that's a millisecond per century that's being added here. So that's 0 0.001 seconds per century. And multiplying this together, you get 0 0.02 seconds. So 20 centuries from now, exactly, that day is going to be 0 0.02 seconds longer than the day today. That's a lot of extra free time. You could compose a symphony with that. But now the question becomes, how do we use this to ans actually answer the question? How do we find the total of the daily increases in time, as confusingly phrased as that is? Well, if we know how much longer it will be 20 centuries from now, if we have that time and, and we assume that this rate of increase is constant, that if we assume that the rate of increase is uniform, then we can actually take an average of of uh, this total amount of time and assume that average time per day will get us how uh, the total, the sum of the additional time over each day. So let me show you what I mean by that. Let's take the average of the amount of extra time today and the amount of extra time 20 years from 20 centuries from now. So the amount of extra time from today is going to be, well, nothing. Today is our starting value. It's just going to be zero. And uh, plus 0 0.02 over two. Now, actually, I didn't explain this. I hope you know, I hope you know how to take an average value. Uh, you should know already that if you want to take an average value between something, you add up the number of values you have and then divide it by the number of values you're using. That's why I'm doing this. That's why I'm doing it like this because I'm taking the value of extra time today, zero, plus the value of the extra time 20 centuries from now, 0 0.02, and dividing it by two because that's two things I'm adding up, even if one of them is zero. So the average then, the average time, is 0 0.01 seconds. So on average, on average, throughout the next 20 centuries, there's an average of 0 0.01 seconds of extra time each day because this increase is occurring uniformly. Now, obviously, this is not actually true. It's not like tomorrow, there's going to be point, tomorrow, the day tomorrow is going to be 0.1 seconds longer 
and each day is going to be like that until suddenly on the 20th century it becomes 0 0.02. It's not like that, but because we know, because we're assuming that the increase over those 20 centuries is uniform, this is a good approximation for the average per day. But now let's actually find the average increase per day over those centuries. But the, now we're going to find the actual total of the time increases over this course of time. How much this will accumulate over 20 years. So we want, so to, in order to find this, we're going to want to multiply the average increase in length of a day by the number of days. So that is going to be our, our average rates, our average increase in length of a day per day, which is, uh, we're, we're uh, averaging that down to one, or 0 0.1 seconds per day times the, the number of days in 2,000 years. So that's 2,000 years times uh, 365 Point two five days per year. And the value we get for multiplying these together is about 7,305 7, seconds. Meaning that if you were to be alive for another 20 centuries, the amount of extra time you'd get from per day from the slowing down of the Earth would add up to roughly two hours. Very interesting.